the construction drawings I'm going to review today are the product of a two-year back-and-forth process with the design team at Woodhouse. Um, a couple years ago, we had a number of objectives in mind when we started. First, we wanted a design that was age-friendly, one within which we could age in place and that everything we needed was on one floor. Uh, secondly, we wanted to downsize from our current home and reduce maintenance. And three, honestly, I wanted the ultimate age in place design that we could use as an example at Woodhouse. I think we achieved all three. So now let's review the construction drawings. Okay, so this is a review of uh, standard Woodhouse construction drawings. That's about uh, 36 pages. Um, the design time itself can take anywhere from just a couple months in the case of a pre-design with few changes or with very well-defined changes one time all the way to a few years. Uh, this took a, a couple years because we had the time. Um, just one thing to note on the cover page and, and actually on all pages, it's stamped by Diana Allen, the Woodhouse staff architect. Uh, New York State and many other states require that. So uh, renderings just, you know, simply to make it easier to understand uh, the massing of the house and some of the details. Um, general notes and specifications, you know, it just gives kind of general information about both the drawings and the building system itself. Um, okay, so window and door specifications. Woodhouse uh, has developed um, a specification sheet that just makes it easier to make all of the choices that have to be made when specifying windows and doors. Doing it with catalogs can be um, quite cumbersome for clients. So we actually uh, sit down with the client and review all of the options available to them. And they, uh, they make those decisions, document them on a spec sheet. Um, this one is for windows, this one is for doors. The client then signs off on that. And using these specifications and the sizes of the windows that are outlined in the drawings, Woodhouse takes responsibility for the window and door schedule. So we're responsible to make sure that these model codes match those decisions and that those sizes um, that are defined on the elevations. Um, most clients talk about uh, cost per square foot, which uh, is not really the best way to look at the cost of the house. Although in the very beginning, when talking about general budget, it's a, you know it's a, it's an easy way to do it. Because of that, uh, we found that people get kind of um, very picky about the actual square footage that's being defined. So we developed this page within our construction drawings that does that. So, you know, living area, storage or mechanical area, garage, decks, porches, etc. And then it's all uh, defined. And then the floor plans. So lower level plan in this home, the lower level is just storage and mechanical and wood shop and so forth. First floor plan, um, which obviously defines the rooms within the home and uh, is used by the builder uh, to position interior walls during construction. And then in the case of this design, which is single story, this is supposed to be kind of the ultimate age in place uh, retirement home. Um, so there's no steps inside or, or into this house anywhere, but the great room uh, is higher than the rest of the house. So that's what this is meant to, to uh, show. It also shows the roof plan, which makes it easy to, to uh, identify roof squares uh, when the builder is estimating the house. And then elevations, so all four eleva elevations, two on this page and two on this. And then sections. So this really gets into the detail uh, that a builder uses to make sure that the home is constructed properly to the plans. And depending on the complexity of the design, uh, you can have as few as just one section or as many as, you know, nine or 10. Um, in this case, we have three on this page, two more on this page, 
and three more on this page for a total of eight. And then we get into uh, details. So, um, you know, different ways that you can build a pier to support posts um, on the exterior of the home. Um, we have chosen to use a superior wall uh, foundation system, which is a pre-manufactured panelized foundation system. So there's some details about that and how to fasten to it for uh, floors and so forth. Um, details about uh, structural insulated panels, um, posts and how they attach to the floor system. And then the foundation plan, uh, which uh, specifies point loads, footer uh, sizes, etc. That gets sent to Superior Wall. They come back with their own drawing and I have to make sure that their drawing matches um, the Woodhouse drawing so that the building system fits to the foundation. Um, just FYI, the first plan that I got from uh, Superior Wall had a couple errors in it, so you, your builder really does need to very carefully check that. Um, and we caught them, and hopefully we caught all of them, um, and then approved the, the Superior drawings for manufacturing. Um, this is the first floor joist plan. It's the subfloor, including all the blocking for post locations. Um, it's important when talking to your builder that they build the floor system exactly as Woodhouse has drawn because it supports point loads. And if they, uh, if they build it a different way because that's the way they're used to doing it, it may not support the, the uh, timber frame structure. And then this is a roof framing plan because uh, in, in the case of this design, we chose to have conventional trusses above the, bath, the master bathroom, a connector between the great room and the master bedroom, and then the connector to the garage and the uh, garage itself. So this then gets sent to the supplier of uh, trusses and, uh, and then is also used by the builder to uh, use those trusses. And then the timber frame isometric showing the different elements that Woodhouse is supplying for the timber frame frame plans and then they'll be for frame elevations a rafter plan timber rafters and then uh, these are timber embellishments that go on the outside of the home in the gables and then uh, timber uh, elevations to show how that's supposed to look. More elevations. We usually supply, you know, I'd say more than 90% of the time we supply the stairs because they, it's kind of a sculptural element that fits within the timber frame. So this defines those. And then some details on how uh, the timber frame is constructed and fastened together. These are different kinds of chamfers. In our case, we're just doing a standard beveled chamfer. More joinery details. And then lastly, uh, electrical plan for the lower level and electrical plan for the uh, first floor. So our electrical plans are done to code, uh, which is probably not exactly the way that you're going to want them. What, uh, what I do and what I recommend is once the, all the, the structure is up, the interior walls are installed, uh, you walk through it with the electrician and define exactly how you would like things done. So where you wanna see switches, where you wanna see outlets. Um, again, this is just simply done to code so that you can get a building permit. And those are uh, the Woodhouse construction drawings.